So this video is for the Samsung 980 Pro NVMe if you're using it with the PS5, but I recommend doing this with any NVMe that you have if you're using it with the PS5. Now, if you already have it installed, I do recommend moving data off of the NVMe drive and putting it either into your internal storage on your PS5 or external storage. I have videos in the description. You can check out how to do that. Just in case you have to format things, you may not have to do that. But once you've done that, go ahead and uninstall the uh, drive from the system after you shut it down. And then what you're gonna need to do is actually get it set up into a PC. See, that's gonna be a difficult part here because you're either gonna have to have a PC that already has an M.2 slot that's available for it, or you're gonna have to do what I did, which was use a external PCIe Express card that has an M.2 slot on it that'll be able to recognize in the Samsung Magician software when you plug this back into your PC, because right now this doesn't seem to work off of external USB enclosures. Now, once you have that set up and plugged in, you'll see it pop up. It should immediately tell you that there's a firmware update available. You can verify that there's an update. Go ahead and run through the update process. It should be pretty quick, but it will reboot your system or rather shut your system down and you just need to be aware of that, so make sure everything else saved. Then once the reboot's complete, you can look back into the software to check to make sure you have the latest firmware update and everything's sort of good to go. And once you've done that, you can remove this from your system, put this back into your PS5 and plug it in, and it should come up right away. It did for me, I didn't even have to format it, but in a sense, I am gonna format anyway to show you the speed test. Now you can see here in the speed difference before the firmware and after, and after you're getting about close to 6,500 megabytes per second in terms of read speed, so very close to what the drive is spec to be. So I definitely recommend doing this firmware update before installing the drive inside of your PS5 to just make things a lot easier and you can check out this video here and how to do that.